Chris Raby for SSM Physical Therapy. Whether you're a high school athlete or a parent, injuries don't need to keep you out of the game. Let the licensed physical therapists at SSM Physical Therapy help. Like them on Facebook. Find one of their St. Louis area locations at SSMPhysicalTherapy.com. This week on KMOX's High School Spotlight, we head to Edwardsville and profile one of the country's best high school football players. And while being an athlete his whole life, A.J. Espineza has football in his future. It's a sport that he's picked up recently that will also play a large role in what's next for him. It's there. Feel it? The day Edwardsville High School junior A.J. Epineza recorded the best discus throw in the nation this year wasn't his best morning. I woke up and actually I didn't feel very good. I was like, man, I got to meet today. I don't feel good. Like I felt actually pretty sluggish. His first attempt goes wide left, but both he and throwing coach Matt Martin say the miscue actually helped his next throw of 206 feet. Five inches. All my best throws have come after something negative has happened, and so I'm, I'm more relaxed and just trying to hit my spots. And my best throws come whenever I'm, I'm relaxed and I'm just trying to trying to get perfect technique. Martin says the mechanics of Epinesa's throws might be the worst part of his game, but he more than makes up for it. For his size, he's pretty athletic. There's guys that you know maybe are as big or bigger, but that, they don't quite have the athleticism he has. And he knows that. That's why he works so hard. He knows he's been given a gift. His gift isn't just used for throwing. It has also taken Epineza to a top 60 high school football recruit ranking in the country and a scholarship to the University of Iowa. He expects to both throw and play football as a Hawkeye. I've only thrown for about three years. This is my third year. And uh, I mean, anytime before that, I've never even thought about throwing. And Epineza is proving one of Martin's strong beliefs as a high school coach. I believe in multi-sport athletes. I always say I don't have to really do plyometrics with AJ because in th for throwing because basketball is as plyometric as you get. You know, I mean, it, that is explosion. So. I, I feel like I had a significantly better basketball season this year than I did last year because I'm. I just started to get good with uh, track and. Uh, it, it helps a lot because footwork through the rings a lot like playing in the post. Martin, who is also the head football coach, needed only one season of coaching A.J. in the fall to see a new opportunity for the freshman in the spring with the track and field team. My freshman year, he's like, I could make you a state champion. You don't, Do you understand that you have the athleticism to be a state champion in the throws? And I was like, whatever, dude. Like I was like, hey, whatever. I said, A.J., in football, I hope we win a state championship. That's our goal. That's what we're working towards. I hope you win a state championship in basketball. That's what your teammates and your coaches are working towards. But in both those sports, you're going to have to have other people do their part. I go, you come throw for me, and you'll have a green sign on 157 and 159 with your name on it someday. Green signs lining Route 157 recognize every team and individual state champion at Edwardsville High School. After top 10 finishes in the shot put and discus last year in state, Ebeneza expects a brand new sign this summer. We're trying to get a, a first place this year. We're, I'm trying not to settle for anything for less than first place. Thanks to AJ, thanks to everyone at Edwardsville for helping us out this week. Also to our great producers, Sam Masterson and Ben Boyd. Thank you to our fantastic sponsors, SSM Physical Therapy. If you have an injury that sidelined you, let SSM Physical Therapy get you back in the game. Visit them at SSMPhysicalTherapy.com to find a St. Louis area location near you. Now here's where you come in. If you have an idea for the KMOX High School Spotlight, email us, KMOXSports at gmail.com, tweet us, at KMOX Sports. Let us know what coach, player, team deserves the spotlight. Until next week, I'm Chris Raby, KMOX Sports.